Jamaicans eagerly await Vibes Cartel's appeal outcome. Rasta transportation, you know. Rasta transportation yeah, to the world. TV, you know. I love you too, deep girls. roots TV. Yeah. Deep 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 yeah, man, see real roots, them, the man, the real roots. Deep 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 Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nations. Ladies and gentlemen, you know it's your favorite Jamaica. I'm Rastafari, so the Yacht Deep Roots TV. Thank you for tuning into the Rastaman channel. Tell up the Rastaman channel. Leave your comment on this one, ladies and gentlemen. You know it's an exciting time right now. I've never seen so many people so elated and on the edge of their seat as this week. Newsweek features overall development that Vibes Cartel fans are waiting right now. Jamaicans following Friday surprise news that the Judicial Committee of the UK Privy Council will deliver its highest anticipated judgment into the appeal of lawyers representing incarcerated dancehall artist Vibes Cartel and his co-convict on Thursday, March 14. Jamaicans woke up to the news that the fifth and highest tier of the Jamaican court system had announced the date when to determine the future of the dance hall artist. The judgment is to be handed down at 11 a.m. Jamaican time on Thursday. Defense attorney had previously indicated that they were expecting the judgment to be ready by June or late summer this year. Now, the guest game is on earnestly. Yo, everyone is waiting for the outcome. There, everyone's on the internet right now guessing what's going to be the outcome of the appeal. Given the judgment is to be de delivered less than a month since the appeal were heard in the UK courts over the course of two days in the middle of February, exactly a month ago. The documents that were submitted in the case were also said to be voluminous, so submitted a month in advance, in February's hearing, Cartel, whose real name is Adija Palmer, was convicted on March 13, 2014, along with fellow applicant Sir Sean Campbell, Korea Jones, and Andre St. John of murder of Clive Williams. Me want enough to leave in the comment. And let me know if Una thinks a cartel did the quenging like they said. And if you think that he's going to get off due to the fact that the case was botched by the prosecutor by tampering with the evidence and by the judge by allowing the tainted jury to continue, the Jamaican court appealed, dismissed their appeal against the conviction and their case were not handed to the Privy Council. The Privy Council Justice Lord Reed, Lord Lord Jones, Lord Briggs, Lord Borough, Lady Smiller are to consider the validity of the telephone evidence that was used in the convicted case of convicting the man and whether it breach their constitutional rights, whether they attempt bribery scenario, composition was a part of the case that compromised the jury in question, was allowed to remain on the panel of the jury, like I said, and whether that the jury, the judge themselves, the Justice Lennox Campbell, now retired, handled the deliberation de relative to the bribe attempt properly. The court is also to determine whether the trial judge was wrong in inviting the jury to reach a verdict late in the day given the special circumstances of the case. But the two-day hearing largely centered around the jury issue. 
in particular the likely effect that keeping a jury accused of later convicted to attempting to the bribe the others could have had an overall panel during the trial in jamaica the judge became aware of the allegation that the jury had attempted to bribe others by offering 500,000 Jamaican dollars for a particular outcome of the case. I don't know, no said that was a not guilty for Adi. After investigating the allegation and considering it with counselors of both sides of the prosecution and the defense, the judge decided that the trial should proceed. He did not discharge the juror or the particular jurors who said to be offered the bribe. He reached to the announce, he react to announce date of the delivery of the judgment. One of the attorney in the appeal case, Bert Samuel said if the UK base court sent the case back to Jamaica appeal to consider a retrial, the defense will strong oppose such a move. Speaking in the radio interview on Friday, he said, in the view, several factors would gone against the retrial being ordered as the man had already spent nearly 13 years in custody. Among the factors he cited that opposed a retrial were the ability of the witness to pre-trial, pre-judge, or to show prejudice of the voice note that were used in the case being released to the public domain and difficulties in finding a jury which has not been influenced by their what they heard through the media related to the case when contacted for comment by reporters director of public prosecution Paul Lulin and said she's not commenting on the matter however she said she would be not be traveling to the UK as she did during the last month. Two days hearing, the social media were the social on social media. Excuse me, there were interested reaction to the Jamaican cartel and his three core cues being both about to learn the facts of the matters in days. Only road for him, a walk, a. Walk the youth for walk. Cell block to out the yard. Then back to the cell. A male Instagram user said. He cartel need to be out of prison. We need good music now. Another said. If second chance is such a thing. Where is Clive Livered second chance? A man said. He added image being imagine being murdered and society think your killer is more important in society than you on facebook a man commented that my initial assessment was that and still is that the uk privy council won't set him free but remand the case to lower courts to consider a new trial however the speed in which the Privy Council come back is telling. Often when a higher court rules swiftly in the matter like this, they are not on the side of the government. But the applicant, they often do that when they discover great injustice, he claimed. The Facebook user further op opting that Based on the jury act, I don't see where the trial judge made a mistake in allowing the so-called tainted jury to remain on the jury. So, like everyone, I too have to wait until they release their finding. Comments on the social media from a woman. Well, cartel only time can tell what will happen on Thursday, but all me know Jamaica passed dear for here. Share another. This ruling quick, sir. Me nervous cause this no look good. 
Meanwhile, another woman on Facebook said she was confident that Cartel and his co-convicted would finally experience true justice based on the speed of the judgment. Cartel and his co-accused, Kara St. John, Sean Storm, I should say, are waiting as the world boss and Sean Storm get true justice, man. Me feel it say, them a go walk free. Road can't wait for go. Cartel concert, said another. However, a man had a warning for the Facebook user. When next Thursday come, no fa uno a go shock when the mental, men, metal bars remain shut, he stated. Now, people, I am not the one to, you know, anticipate the future. But I and I, man, think say, if there's any political collection, <laughs> God tell a roll free. I personally thought he would have done 10 years because of the corruption of the Jamaican justice system. But right now, I too, I'm anticipating the teacher to come and teach the youths them how to be a true bleacher. Right now, I'm waiting on the world boss to come teach the youths them slackness. Yeah. And I'm waiting on Cartel really to admit that he had a hand in the demise of Clive Williams. So if he is released, then he would be proven not guilty, so you can't say that. But if the courts forward again on a third time, because the original case he was found guilty, the appeal, Supreme Court say him guilty. If him go to the Privy Council and them say him guilty, then I just want him to admit and him fans them to admit. And if he is found innocent, we all should admit that he is innocent. Because we have to trust the justice system, although we know it's tainted and flawed, left or right, wrong or right. You understand? So, good luck to Vibes Cartel, real name Adisha Palmer. Good luck to all our fans them. Hope it's the outcome that they're hoping for. You're going to And I just want you to leave your comment to let me know if you truly think like Cartel had hand in the death of Clive Williams, a.k.a. Lizard. Or if you think that the justice system is just giving Vibes Cartel a raw deal. I'm Master Far Right Soldier. Here at Deep Roots TV, let us know how you feel. More life, more joy, more happiness. The 14th of March, we all will know if Cartel will walk. Bless up yourself. <laughs>